There you go. There you go. There you go. You almost there. Kick, kick, kick. I need to use your. Now, he almost got me. Aswam like it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right. So tonight, me and I think Greg and maybe Jimmy, aka Frugal Physio, and aka Greg Ammons on YouTube, we are going to probably cruise out to the Three Mile Bridge tonight because you know what's tonight? The super moon, all right. The super moon is tonight. It's supposed to be the biggest, brightest moon in like the last 60 years. I think like 1948. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. So if there's any other time to night fish, it's tonight. It should be really bright all night. That's just, I'm just guessing that. So I'm loading up the Outback right here, and I've got my GoPros on charge, and we're gonna head out to the bridge probably eight or nine o'clock. And see what these fish are doing and hopefully it's a good night before then i gotta re-rig everything because that's that's how my life goes with this all right just got to the launch ready to go also i stole the couch cushion from my seat check it out <laughs> now i gotta try to get in here without getting wet all right greg's got the first fish of the night don't let it be no catfish catfish yeah. <laughs> Catfish for days. What'd you get him on a gulp? Well, there he is. Yeah. First fish of the night. He's a cute one. Yeah. It's like you set the hook too hard on and you ripped their mouths. Oh, there he goes. Get out, get out. All right, Greg's got another fish on. Super moon fishing. I don't know if you can see it. What'd you, what'd you catch him on? That white trout. Relining the white trout. Yeah. It's that Florida sleigh ride. Right Put some smoke on him. There he is. Mucho Bisto. That's a nice one. Oh. <laughs> First golden pumpkin fish of the, of the night. All right, I just caught a redfish. I think the camera was on. I sure hope I did. The camera was on because he was huge. I didn't check it. I bet you I forgot to turn the camera on. Man, no. I got a picture though. We took a picture. We'll put that picture in right here. Around the boat, he saw the boat. And he like turned, went out about ten yards. Turned broadside. I put it right in front of him. <laughs> nice. He took it. Oh, that's a monster right there. It's a nice one. Yeah. Heck yeah. Turn him this way a little bit. Yeah, let me turn one. He's feisty too. That's a sexy fish. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Off, off and away. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Oh, fender bender. There's no one right beside him. It's another one right there. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought it was. Get him out of here. Yeah, he's probably like, what, 32? Sometimes they look smaller in the water than they really are. Oh, shit. It. Oh! Down he goes. <laughs> My seat's still strapped on. All that, so that thing should float. Did you find it? Oh. I don't see anything else floating. I'll go. I can look around. Can you get back in? Huh? Can you get back in? Oh 
up, shit, shit. Can you? I'm trying to get it close to you. What's your plan here? Can you get like alongside and pull you? Yeah. Really close to you? All right. All right. Now, try it. You're going to have to go straight on this, you know, straight through. There you go. There you go. There you go. You almost there. Kick, kick, kick. I need, kick. I need to use your guy for a minute. Kick, 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 oh, kick. Oh, God. Whew, you got it, bro. You got it. Wow, that was expensive. <laughs> that was fun. Man, at least you're back in the kayak, man. That's all that counts. That was 500 bucks. Just make sure you stay center. Has the kayak got any water in it? Stay center. There you go. All right, I'll, I'll look around and see if I can see anything. You got your fishing rods and everything? No, they're gone. I thought you were talking about just the GoPro. Well, at least you're back in the in the yak. That's all. That's the main thing. The only thing I saw floating after you hit the water was that uh, that tackle box. Yeah, we, yeah, we gotta get you out of the wet clothes. Made it. The rescue mission. We made it. Tell you what, that was by far probably one of the most nerve-wracking experiences in my kayak fishing career. Greg flipped his kayak underneath a three-mile bridge at the big hump, and I just heard splash, and I looked behind me, and Greg was upside down, GoPro gone, fishing poles gone, tackle box floating away. If you think that those inflatable life vests are going to inflate when you need it, think again. Because his didn't inflate. If it wasn't for the pole on the three mile, the handle on the outback, and me sitting there beside him, he'd probably be still floating. I, it was it was wild. It was wild. I didn't get my GoPro on until until he had flipped his kayak back over. I was more worried about him than I was the footage. So it was wild. Mm -hmm.